Hi everybody, welcome to the West Real Estate Program, the program that gives you all the best information available on everything to do with real estate, whether you're buying or selling or renovating. We're looking to all aspects and the advice is given by professionals involved within the industry. I'm Pete Rose and I host the program, but I know nothing about real estate at all, so I'm here to learn along with you. On today's program, the wonderful Aaron Pitts of the HIA Perth Housing Awards for 2014. It was a great night, I hosted it and he was there as well. See ya, Aaron. It's a night of nights for the residential housing industry in Perth. It's our 43rd awards program. We've got over 1,100 people here tonight and we'll be giving out 64 award categories. Thanks to Red Income, one of my favourite segments, Paul Mercurio's Food Talk. Love it! Because it's already cooked, you just want to crisp the skin and then heat it through, right? Yeah, you're just basically reheating it up. Got a nice flavour into it, and that's about it. I know it's going to be delicious. I suppose you're wondering why it sounds like a work site. Well, it's because I'm with Daniel Paul Felipe again for Blackburn Project Marketing, and we're looking at this. Look at the size of this thing. I'm going to climb that. What the hell? I'm doing it. Well, we're going to 13, we're at 6.5, so we're halfway there. Right, and it sways a little bit up here, and I'm white <laughs> knuckling like you would not believe. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the West Real Estate Program. I'm climbing it. I'm climbing it. Now, if I want to discuss apartments in the Rivervale area, I go to one man. That's Daniel Paul Felipe from Blackburn Project Marketing. Daniel Paul. Hi, Pete. Great How to are see you, brother. Yeah, you too. Great. Now, look at this thing. I love it. It's 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 big, but it's in a great spot. And I love the multi layers on it. I like the layering. Yeah, it's a fantastic building. It's another um, edge development, mm -hmm. uh, and David Hillam's the architect behind it. Um, so all this articulation around the building's been designed to obviously reflect the location and um, maximise this block being right on the river's edge. Yeah. So we've got these terraces at the bottom. Um, it comes up to the main building, and we've got a podium level at the other side as well. So it's, a, it's an absolutely sensational building and great views from from everywhere. Oh, that's the bonus of this area. I think no matter which way your point, you're going to get something. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all the ones on the front obviously have riverfront. Mm -hmm. um, as you go up on the side, you have city views. Um, you've got views to the hills from the other areas and, yeah. and the river the other way, so it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. And what about the spec? What's happening inside? Are they all well fitted? Are they uh, like high end? Yeah, typical of uh, a David Hillen building. It's a high specification already. Um, mm -hmm. Ducted reverse cycle air conditioning, floor to ceiling glass, very high spec appliances, AEG, etc. Uh, but there's also the opportunity to customise your own apartment, choose your own interior fittings and, and make a really bespoke apartment. Yeah, fantastic. I just noticed around the corner, you've got these giant LCD screens which are sort of touch and play with. Are they got something to do with the sale? What's the yeah, that's right. So the touch screens are there just to help people find the perfect apartment for them so they can choose the type, so price range or one bedroom or two bedroom, look through at the floor plans, uh, etc. So it's just there to help people. Thank you, Daniel Paul. Stick with me. Now here's the wonderful Aaron Pitt. He's at the HIA Perth Housing Industry Awards for 2014. I hosted it. It was a great night. Tonight we come to you from the HIA Perth Housing Industry Awards for 2014, which is the housing industry's night of all nights as it celebrates the very best homes built in Perth for 2014. I'm now joined by the Executive Director of the HIA, Mr John Jalavis. How are you, mate? Good to see you, Aaron. Mate, thanks for having me along to this night. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic night. What does it involve? Well, look, it's a night of nights for the residential housing industry in Perth. It's our 43rd awards program. We've got over 1,100 people here tonight and we'll be giving out 64 award categories. Categories include project home up to 230,000, right up to custom built home 2.6 million and above. We also give awards uh, out for apartments, for renovations, uh, special purpose housing and also affordable housing as well. So there's a range of different categories. There, there's two coveted awards that are here tonight, obviously the Golden Key Award which is for best display home and of course the Perth Home of the Year which last year was won by Georgie Exclusive Homes. That went on to win the Australian Home of the Year. John, well, thanks a lot for having me along. I'll tell you what, you look very proud of all the people here at WA. I can't wait to interview the winner later. And I will. I'll be with the winner of the Perth Home Award for 2014 later in the show here on the West Real Estate Program. West Australian property developer Progress Developments and Little Property offer three quality estates within the beautiful Swan Valley. With a focus on creating a strong family community, Suffolk Park is a well-planned estate which is committed to nurturing the values of modern family living.
this is all happening here, lots of development and building activity. Tell us what the main attraction to Suffolk Park will be. Lisa, there's three main attractions to Suffolk Park. One is the location to the city, only 20 minutes away. The second is the great parks and amenities that will be here. And the third is you're going to be part of the great Swan Valley lifestyle. So let's talk about these amenities. What are the different amenities that will be on offer for the residents? There'll be great parks with the latest exercise equipment, cycleways. It's all designed around the philosophy of healthy living. And it is a great location, isn't it? You've got your rural hideaway, the convenience of the city being not too far away, and you're on the doorstep to the Swan Valley. Lisa, you're never short of things to do in the Swan Valley, whether it be visiting the wineries, the chocolate factory, cafes, playing super golf, or simply taking a walk. There's loads of activity. For more info, contact Progress Developments or hop on their website, progressdevelopments.com.au. For information on all your property needs, whether it be buying, selling or renting, be sure to visit westrealestate.com.au. After the break, I'm back with the amazing Daniel Paul at the Vantage Riverside Apartments. We'll be going through this location there. Oh, where's the, thing? where's the gallery? That'll be good. Where's the gallery? This has got all the pictures of the different areas, including oh. inside the apartments. Let's go and put our photos of us in there. Absolutely. Yeah, let's get our shirts off and get in there. that bathroom fit out you are asking about before in the kitchen? <laughs> I love it. The How cafe. fast can I go? Really fast. Pretty quick. That's good. Not even looking at them. No, that's looking right. At you. It's working. <laughs> Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. I find myself on the front lawn of the Vantage River Edge Apartments with Daniel Paul Philippe. There's no better place to be. Uh, love it. I love the way it's going to roll onto this area. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's uh, right out the front of the apartments. You walk straight down to the river. Uh, you're right on the river's edge. Yeah, it's really great. It's, it's, got a, it's quite peaceful down here. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a nice tranquil spot. It's a good place to hang out. We've got uh, canoe storage, so people can take the canoe for a paddle on the river. Uh, obviously, we've got the bike path right there, and they can cycle into East Perth, the CBD, Burswood. It's all at the doorstep. The new dome when it's built. At the yeah, stadium. that's right. The new stadium. Fantastic. Tell us about the amenities inside the apartment block. What have we got? We've got a cafe on the ground floor, and then there's a entertaining deck, uh, which is also on the ground floor, which has an infinity pool, cabana, barbecue area, so people can enjoy the view while they're relaxing uh, uh, outside. That same area has a like a health spa. Yeah. So there's a gym, sauna, spa. Then we've got entertaining areas, which has again barbecue facilities facilities, private dining room, lounge area with a fireplace for the winter. It's just beautiful. On the top floor, we've got a roof deck, which has barbecue facilities, a yoga area, and an outdoor theater as well. So in the summer, you can run movies on the uh, on the top deck. And of course, this magnificent view. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's awesome. If there was a lot of boxes and they had to be ticked, you ticked them all. Yeah, this building ticks all of them. You stay with me, Daniel Paul Philippe. Hey, one more break. Now here's the wonderful Alan, and he's at Summit Homes Projects. Let's have a look. Here's some timely advice if you're considering a development. With so many possible pitfalls in the process, it's important to get things right, right from the start. Summit Projects has developed over $500 million worth of investments over the last 30 years. They really are the experts. So, if you're thinking of development, think Summit. As part of the Summit Homes Group, people are the priority of Summit Projects both the people in Summit's team and the people who become their highly valued customers. Summit Projects is the Development and Investment Specialist Division. Regardless of the type of development, duplex, triplex or multi-unit, their objective is to work with clients to maximise the potential returns of every development. So as you can see, you'll be looked after every step of the way. The Summit Projects team will meet with you to discuss the possibilities for your block. They'll address feasibility, seek all the relevant approvals, draw up your plans and commence the build. Developing customised development solutions is at the core of everything they do. Detailed feasibility studies drive the process, leaving nothing to chance, assisting investors of all types to ensure their development projects are a complete success. This is Summit Project's sole focus, and the reason people return to Summit and rely on them time after time after time. What sort of work does Summit Projects undertake, Pete? Well, Summit Projects work with a variety of clients. We actually cater for uh, duplex, triplex, quadruplex, and we also build apartments. Now, developing isn't about finding a block of land, plonking a building on it and hoping for the best, is it? Not quite that easy, Alan. No, if it was, I'm sure everyone would be doing it. Uh, there's a number of uh, components associated with it, and uh, you know, from the beginning it's very important to get the design right you know, for the site. And then, of course, you've got to put it through uh, council and obtain planning approvals and make sure it's all compliant. 
and of course you've got the costs associated with developing as well. Very important to keep a tight rein on those. And there's another division of Summit Projects, isn't there? Tell me about that. There is. We have a brand that we call Strata Living, and Strata Living is responsible for unlocking uh, the potential of your backyard. So if you have a block size that's big enough to be subdivided, then Strata Living can build a single story or a double story house in the backyard and provide an income producing asset and free up some time on the weekend. Great, well let's have a look at some of your finished work, yeah? Let's go. Okay. It's the little things Summit Projects do that set them apart from the rest. From a dedicated customer portal, where clients can log in at any time to see the progress of their developments, to being appointed their own dedicated contract administrator. So come on in, Alan. Thanks. This is one of our finished houses that we've just finished down here at Harrington Waters. Mm. And as you can see, this is uh, the sort of level of finish and standard that we put into each of our developments. They come complete with their floor coverings, their window treatments, their light fittings, and pretty much the owners can back the truck up and unpack. No, that's pretty comfortable. I might move in a little later on. Now, tell me about money. We always want to talk about that. Uh, developing is expensive? Well, it can be, but if you plan correctly up front, then it goes a long way towards mitigating the costs. So talk to you as soon as possible. That would be a wise move. <laughs> Maximise the potential of your development with Summit Projects. Go to summitprojects.com.au or follow the links from our pages. It has been a fantastic night here at the HIA Perth Housing Awards for 2014. I'm now with the winner of the Golden Key Award, Mr John Fisher from 101 Residential. John, congratulations to you, sir. Thank you so much. You must be super stoked. Yeah, so happy. Um, you know, we've uh, great team effort. We've set a new benchmark. Scott Park has brought a new style innovation to uh, WA and uh, with a lightweight construction. And uh, you know, winning awards like this just proves you know, what we're doing is a great idea. The suburbs are getting smaller blocks and uh, we've managed to you know, put a skilling design with, with raking ceilings onto a small block and really make it feel like a spacious home and it just stands out from the crowd and it's pretty impressive what we've managed to do on such a small piece of land. Well congratulations John Thanks and so your team, well done. Great. Now if you'd like to know more about the 101 Residential award winning home make sure you go to 101residential.com.au Building a new home and don't know where to begin? Take a look at newhomesguide.com.au they have a great range of West Australian builders. Well done, Aaron. After the break, we catch up with the fantastic Scott Park. We'll see you then. Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program with the wonderful Daniel Paul Felipe. We're on the sixth level. So All we're right. going to go double again, we're going to 12, aren't we? When we're going to 13, we're at 6.5, so we're halfway there. Right, and it yeah. sways a little bit up here, and I'm white knuckling <laughs> like you would not believe. It does a little bit, I'm not okay. happy with my height. Perfectly safe. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it. <laughs> now tell us a bit about the apartment price range. So we've got a great range of apartments starting from 385,000 mm -hmm. uh, for one bedrooms, ranging up to uh, the low fives. We've got two by ones starting from the low 500s up to the mid fives and then we've got uh, two by twos from the 500s right up to the 800s. Penthouses go all the way up to 1.85 million, which will get you a 300 square metre corner penthouse on the 13th floor, two storeys with this amazing view. I really like it, it's a fantastic development. It's got a good feel and a great spot. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely awesome. And the benefit of this building is that all the residents, whether they be in the cheapest one bed or the penthouse, get to enjoy this view because we've got that rooftop terrace and, uh, and facilities, entertaining areas, etc. So everybody gets to enjoy this. Where do they go on? Are they on sale already? They have started? Yeah, we've started uh, this weekend. Right. Uh, is the public launch. People can come to the site here at 60 Riversdale Road. The display's open all weekend, or obviously online at uh, vantageperth.com.au. Great to see you, Daniel Paul. Catch Thanks, up Peter. again soon, man. Great. And here's the wonderful Sasha looking at a brand new renovated kitchen. If you're thinking about renovating your home, then you need look no further than the renovation company. We're in the foothills of Perth where we've turned this very dated Federation home into a little bit of Hamptons in the hills. They've got a gorgeous brand new kitchen with laminate diamond gloss tops. Looks like stone, but a lot more cost effective. Beautiful white gloss doors, all soft clothes, new handles. Little breakfast bar over here, and this fantastic workbench in the middle, which is also very social for entertaining. Upgrading all their appliances, new blinds, they've got a brand new kitchen. And if you need help with your kitchens, bathrooms, or laundries, then call us now on 9468 7555 or head to therenovationcompany.com.au. Building a new home and don't know where to begin? 
Take a look at newhomesguide.com.au. They have a great range of West Australian builders. So much time, effort and money is invested in the humble kitchen these days. Well, after all, it's the place where friends and family gather for good food and good conversation. Scott Park from 101 Residential High. How are you? Good. How much um, time and effort are you investing in your kitchens? Alan, we've uh, recognised that the kitchen is the focal point of the home and over the years it probably always has been, but recently we've noticed so many more innovating products coming in the marketplace where people are actually looking for something a little bit different to what they were doing before perhaps. So you'll find with all our kitchens that we've introduced stone bench tops as an example. There's constantly new products coming in the marketplace for appliances, uh, range hoods, those sorts of things. So we see it as an important part about what our homes represent and enjoying that part of that, uh, that upgrade, I suppose, from where people may be currently living, it's a reason to look at a, a new kitchen. It can be confusing, can't it? And your people are there to guide people right through that process. Absolutely, and, and through the process of actually selecting the right home to, uh, to build, um, all the way through the process of we're working drawings, our, our plans, our details of what we do. The kitchen is, is very much a, an intimate part of that. Um, again, to ensure that we deliver what people are looking for. Scott, always good to talk to you. If you'd like to know more about your kitchen, go to 101residential.com.au. Offering a vast array of furniture to fit any style and space, 740 Designs is now offering the ease of one-step fit-outs for any home or apartment. They have furniture packages to suit every budget and lifestyle with the option of new or ex-display furniture. Give the team at 740 Designs a call and see how they can help add a little charm to your home. After the break, thanks to Reading, Paul Mercurio and Food Talk. Love it! Oh, I'm white knuckling like you wouldn't believe. White knuckling! White knuckling! Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program, back on Terra Firma, feeling much better about myself. Now it's time for Food Talk with a wonderful Paul Mercurio, thanks to Renink. This is where Paul gets matched up with one of Perth's top chefs. They cook up something delicious in a wonderful Renink kitchen. Let's have a look. Welcome to Food Talk and welcome to Vinci Silvera from Portofino. Yeah. Is that an Italian restaurant? Uh, it was an Italian restaurant, but now it, it, it's more modern Australian. Mm -hmm. Modern Australian, it's a very confusing term sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Now, um, mate, I'm looking over here. Have you seen over here what's here? Look at that. Pork belly. Something tells me that's been cooked already. The pineapple puree. You made that already, and I like this one too, mate. This is, you can make mashed potatoes in a Reading kitchen, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what, you're gonna um, warm that in the microwave and then yeah, dip just, it so. Yeah, it's easy to. The presentation. Presentation. Please. Right, well, I'll just, um, done. Let's cook the pork. So, skin side down. Yeah. Um, Vincey. Yeah. There's one pork belly left. Yeah. And there's one, two, we've got three crew over there. I think maybe we should put that onto them. What do you reckon? That's right. Is that okay? Yeah. Now, what are we going to have with this? With the pork belly, we'll have it uh, served with caramelised onions. I already cooked them in uh, balsamic uh, vinegar, yep. sugar, thyme bay leaf. Yum. And for how long? Uh, this has been cooked for eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah, on a slow heat. So we'll just heat this through. Yeah. Okay, we've got scallops too. We haven't even talked about those. You, yeah. When do you want to put those in? Everything is ready, and then you just seal all the scallops at the last minute so you're not overcooking them. And so, mm. you know, and then just serve it with okay. the pork belly at the end. Now, here's another lovely, long, slow cooked process. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you could do it in this beautiful kitchen, um, but that's your jus, right? Yeah. Vinci, this uh, jus is just glorious, isn't yeah. it? The way it, that it's just so silky and yeah. viscous, and I know it's going to be delicious. Because it's already cooked, you just want to crisp the skin and then heat it through, right? Yeah, you're just basically reheating it up. Got a nice flavour into it and that's about it. Yep. All right. Vincey, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it is, looks yeah. really good. So that's almost done? Yeah, it's almost done. And yeah. it's taken how long? 
Uh, about uh, eight to nine minutes. Okay, cool. Yeah. And what's the next process? Uh, next, what we'll do, we'll get ready for uh, presentation, yep. the plating up. Yep. So what we'll do, we'll blanch the pork choy. Yep, let's do that. We're going to do the scallops? Yeah, I'll do the scallops. With the scallops, you've got to be a little bit careful because uh, the, the pan is hot. Mm. So what I like to do is I put a little bit of salt in the pan. Oh, really? Salt is a very bad uh, conductor of heat. It doesn't burn it instantly, okay. but it just gives a level uh, cooking. Right, sort of thing. I've, I've never seen that. You're a good boy. I don't know why I'm going Italian, but beautiful. Vinci, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure. If you guys want to try this dish, get down to Portofino. Vinci will cook it for you. And if you want more information on Food Talk, then jump on our website, realestatetv.com.au. Follow the link. Mate, I'm going to have a scallop. Oh, yeah. Go for it. For all your cooking and kitchen needs, you'll find the best brands and the biggest range at one of the Kitchen Warehouse's seven Perth stores or go to kitchenwarehouse.com.au. You rock Port Mercurio. Thank you, Red Ink. Thank you, Food Talk. Great segment. That's all we've got time for this week. I hope you enjoyed the program. If you really liked it a lot, you can watch it again. Go to the website, realestatetv.com.au. It's all there. Old shows, new shows, products. It's everything. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. And that's a wrap.